It's Glimmers of Joy. This month we're talking about finding your inner strengths. And um, I'm Karen Dickrell, the Lifespan Educator with Extension for Outagamie County. So your inner strengths include wisdom, courage, humanity, justice, temperance, and transcendence. And I'm just going to give you some ideas of things that you might be able to do to tap your inner strengths. The first item is wisdom. So look at what are you doing in your life where you can use your creativity. How do you look at your curiosity and being open-minded about some topics that maybe you don't understand, but you want to learn more about? It's that love of learning, reading, discovering new things, talking to people, experiencing things. That's all part of that wisdom because that's going to give you perspective so you can share with others what you've learned in your lifetime. Courage is another um, important thing as we look at the different kinds of inner strengths that we have. And so integrity is that ability to speak the truth and act sincerely and present yourself as authentically as you can. So people don't second guess or try and figure out, well, where is she coming from today or he? So have the courage and brave to speak your voice and to share your opinions and know when to share your opinions. Persistence, um, finishing what you start in the face of, of resistance and being industrious with that and having a vitality of living a life wholeheartedly with enthusiasm and energy. Then we have our humanity, which is the social and emotional intelligence and knowing, um, being aware of your motives and also being aware of other people and how to fit into different social situations. Um, love is important, having the capacity to give and receive love, valuing and maintaining those close relationships in your families. And then kindness, nurturing and caring for others and showing that generosity is so important. Justice, being able to work in a team, maybe it's part of your book club or a church group or um, whatever you might be doing in your neighborhood, but being part of a team, displaying loyalty and responsibility, being fair to others and um, try not to get your personal feelings um, and your biases involved in things where maybe they don't, they don't fit. And then using that leadership to encourage a group to get things done. So you organize things and you make it happen. Temperance is having that mercy and humility, um, forgiving someone, maybe if they've done something wrong and moving on, just moving on and letting it go. Um, looking for self-control and um, regulating what you feel and do, and then taking care in what you say and how you do it and not taking undue risks. Prudence helps to temper our actions and our decisions that sometimes may lead to regret. So thinking about your self-control and your humility. Transcend transcendence is that appreciation of beauty, noting and valuing the beauty around you, the nature and the people and the smiles that people bring to you. Spirituality is so important as is gratitude, hope, and then that sense of humor of sharing a story and, and laughter. It just makes for a more joyful kind of moment. So um, I challenge you to think about taking on a little um, project of something you're going to do that will bring some bravery, curiosity, self-control, appreciation of the beauty, your creativity, your love, so that you're thinking about things that are going to really find your inner strengths. Have a great month and um, hope this was a great glimmer of, glimmer of joy for you. Bye, Karen.